Rams outside in yeah, Duluth, well, Georgia. But on the inside, there's a fiery heat, a vigorous excitement because there are going to be cards that will be flipped, doors that will be knocked down, dice that will be spun, honor that will be grabbed, all part of the largest tabletop tournament of 2017. Mm -hmm. Justin, we are back with more Unrivaled Week 9. How oh, you feeling? Man? I am so, so, so excited. So excited for today! Wow! Wow! I, I didn't three know three levels up. Yeah, That's, yeah. You, There's you're levels like Mario. to this stuff. You yeah. put the cape on and you're flying towards towards the airship. Um, that is three levels yeah. of excitement. Why are you so excited? Uh, we saw some great gaming last week. Yep. Yes, and we, we know did. we're here in Georgia. Mm -hmm. That we, we know are. It's tabletops donkey. big down here. We know we're just going to see some more exciting stuff because remember. We're still on our way to Las Vegas. We're still on right. our way to Las Vegas. We are inching towards those grand finals. October, Las Vegas, a chance to compete for a whole lot of cash. Yes. Uh, taking home pride, a sweet, sweet gaming table. Uh, so our winners from here, uh, Georgia, today will yeah. be heading to Las Vegas uh, to do all that. But let's let's go back. Let's go back in time. Let's hop yes. in our DeLorean. Let's do this, our, why don't Our we? tabletop DeLorean. I powered it up. I'm not let's at all the gigawatts, in. but let's go back to Austin. What yes. did we see in Austin? We had we had some incredible games. We saw Zoe, uh, yes. thirteen year old trash talker who was Team Justin. Um, Team Justin. What else? We saw Ascension. We saw everything. But I think instead of us just talking about it, we have a video that we can show everyone. We have a recap video of what everyone. I can't believe we can do this. We can do that. Welcome to 2017. Yeah. Let's go to our feature table of King, King of, of Tokyo. Tokyo. Here we go! Oh, oh my glories! See ya. Glories and angels. Oh my goodness! Cyber Kitty gone. is bye bye. Goodbye, Kylie. I think that is it. The points. twos. People are playing deuces down here in Austin. That's three points already. He just needs one more point to win. And there we go! And that's a victory! That should be it. I'm here with Zoe. Just really have fun and do your best to just play the game. It doesn't matter if you really win or lose, it's just have fun. Alrighty, and here we go. Five cards at a time. The most intense part of this game, though, is the counting of mm -hmm. the points. Really like it. Ooh, and the anticipation is building because someone will be headed to Vegas to compete for 10 grand. No, oh, look at that smile by Ryan. Ryan, tell me a little bit about that victory you had. It was definitely at the end. That was a really close game. But right now, let's go to our final table, King of Tokyo. I'm super excited. Uh, Ooh, there's some threes right there. That's a big, big first turn right there for Brendan. Get those three victory points right away. Goes into Tokyo, gets another one, I believe. Oh, he's, he's known for his smash rolls around here. Still four he does smash. It. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh, this that. is where he goes for Nova Breath. I will buy the Nova Breath. Oh, ah, and he goes yeah. for Nova Breath. Oh, this is going to get good. Do it for the strip. Oh! Is that it? Four, five. Yes, without King of Tokyo. Wow. Oh, wow. Tell me about that win, man. How's it feel? Uh, I was very nervous. My heart's still pumping. So smart. smart move right there. Love it. Why is that? Why is that a good move early on? So Magic Lamp, he's gonna make the monster disappear. Yes, he's not gonna get the levels, but he's gonna get to take all that treasure without having to fight the monster. Oh, Stone Golem. So she's now engaged in combat, so she can no longer stop fighting the Stone Golem. One, two, three. Oh, dead. Oh, you see him scrolling through your cards, Justin. This is where it's very important to know what's in your hand. Yeah. Because yep. that countdown isn't stopping for no one. How's there gonna be a tiebreaker? Whoever the highest bonus is right now. No way! Not now. Okay, so you are now the official winner. Of oh my oh god! A divine intervention to win the game! Stay tuned next, Stay tuned week. next week. Where are we next week? We're Unrivaled. We're going to be in Atlanta. This is the ATL. largest tabletop tournament of 2017. I'm Tim. I'm Justin. Challenge, Challenge everyone. everyone. The action.
action was palpable. Yeah. It was all over the place. I couldn't even believe some of the stuff we saw. Let's let's do qu- uh, a very mm-hmm. quick recap. In, in that King of Tokyo game, we saw Michael, his strategy, which what was a, working the what whole a time. Man, what a, what a, what what a Paul s- Rowan, Smash Rowan, man, he was. What a smasher, but it ended up being Brendan teaming yes. up with uh, Fernando to take him down, mm-hmm. even though he had the Nova Breath. It looked like he was just a couple rolls away from headed to Vegas. Let me tell you, last week we saw a bunch of strategies way different than any other week we've seen. Totally different. And they worked out. They with did. the Munchkin game, with the King of Tokyo, with Ascension even. We had not seen a lot of clerics played in Munchkin. So watching that happen, that yeah. just that double cleric and... Uh, it's it's going to be fun to see how this week turns out. Enough of us talking. Let's get right to it. We got some Munchkin right away. Let's take a look at go. it. Let's get, let's get ready. Let's do it. Thank you all for having me. Hey guys, today we're playing Munchkin for the regionals to see who can actually go to Vegas with the, everything that comes with it. The paid trip, the chance for $10,000, meeting fun people and creators and stuff like that. So, as you see in front of you, you do have official Munchkin playmats. They do have cheat rules and also extra rules. They are not being used. They are mostly being used so that you guys can track your levels, where all your stuff goes, and for our uh, people watching, it's so that they can see actually what your levels are and where everything is. Uh, I also see that we have two mon- uh, phones on the table, a third one over there, that is using the unofficial app, mostly he's just using it for tracking his uh, bonuses, and these two actually do have official Munchkin apps, which are allowed per the rules of Munchkin itself, and I'll be checking to make sure that they're using the bonuses correctly. We also have bookmarks on the table, I have checked beforehand, they are all tournament legal bookmarks, and they are all actual bookmarks and not fake knockoffs. Uh, you'd be surprised those things exist. <laughs> um, we also have our colors, we also have our genders assigned because gender matters in this game according to card effects. And other than that, good luck on the game. Uh, I'm going to finish shuffling this card and then finish shuffling this one as well real quick. Once I pass out the cards, you may start examining them and we will then roll off to see who goes first. And Facebook Live. So you guys treasures? And Facebook one, one. Live. Don't forget that Already one. Have some one, one, one. Somebody's rooting for Matt I'm going to touch everything. <laughs> <laughs> one, 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 one. Oh, give me that back out. An inadvertent card flip. The problem with being Yikes. mic'd up is that you can't free throw on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I know I pass out cards very easily. Happy Vegan. Yeah. 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 Justin, for our first time Munchkin yeah. players, as CJ is dealing, oh, you get four oh, treasures wait. and how many door cards? Four, four. Four, 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 four each. Four, four. Four by four. And we see that slight uh, slip of the card. We do a redeal, but CJ famous uh, around the Duluth parts for being able to one-handed deal. I practice. This is my eighth time doing this, so I'm doing pretty good. As we hear him not be humble at all. <laughs> uh, before you make your character, love him. We roll to see goes first. So. Roll the d6. One. Ooh, we see that dreaded Bigfoot that was in uh, six, six. Alex's hand last week that he had a problem with. One, and then pass over. Tough to deal with that big toe. Four, you are first. So before we start though, I would just everyone. So we have Matt on this side, he's going first. He is the green munchkin. We have Richard with the clear. We have the other Matt with the black. And we have Christy with the pink. <laughs> So that is the colors for everyone seeing, and when you guys are ready, you may start forming your character, and then whenever you see fit match, you may kick open the first door, and you may start the game. Okay, Divine Mention must immediately be played, so that means basically nothing happens right now. Hmm. Alright, so here we go. It looks like Matt is starting. For those watching, yes, we saw them roll the die. Boat. Yes, we saw them roll the die, but... What was, what was, what's the real rules of Munchkin when deciding he goes first? Oh, you just determine it through awesome locution and whoever's the coolest. Okay, You're I'm supposed to argue it. Coming into 1,000 gold pieces and going up a level. Wow. Alrighty, we see him selling those gold pieces to go up a level again himself. Not a bad move right away, right? An initial jump up? Yeah, I like that. Uh, although I tend to drift back a little bit in the early stages, especially, well... Jump ahead, but not too really? much, because if you I'm jump on the door, game is now level eight gazebo and pulls out a level eight, eight gazebo. What is gazebo alone? Bad stuff lose three levels. There you go, hurt from Matt himself. How is a gazebo different than uh, other gazebo monsters? Two, uh, a gazebo you cannot solicit two, help. I mean, eight. when you enter that gazebo, you're facing those columns alone, and boy, can they be scary. I will. Um, If it's a gazebo in Philadelphia, you're in trouble. Okay. Okay, lose three levels. Yikes. 
So nothing not really much. bad. Cards, but you may not loot the room or look for trouble. Okay. So you have to roll one away. Roll one uh, away. Roll one away. Yes, but yes. yes, thank you so much. Yes. I got ahead of myself. I got ahead of myself right here. <laughs> yes. I was going to say something, but I figured it's, it would be it's rude. It's too late to play something now, right, correct? It is too late to play something now. Okay. Else. Nope. Okay. So in order to run, run away from the monster, how much does a player have to roll? Got to roll five or a six unless you have some amazing cards that help you, or say otherwise. I am. Okay. Make it under whenever you're ready. Run away! It's a super munchkin. I have no class, as usual. I'm going to... Uh-oh. He's got the leather armor on, making his body look absolutely fantastic. And he's got some spiky knees as well, I believe. I don't know if we talked about it. Or six minutes because you're the dwarf. I'm a dwarf. Is it dwarf? So he can do what, Justin? I see a lot of cards out there. A dwarf can you can hold an extra card in your hand to have these six it instead of the five. Not, it will nice. Not you level three or below. Yep. So you can carry stuff in your beard. Run away. Huh? Would you like to fight or automatically run away? I'm run away. Okay. You just leave it. Easy move right there. Easy call. Uh, a lot of monsters early on won't fight certain players because they're not at certain levels. And we see that early on with bigger monsters, higher level monsters. This is a... Uh, Christy, I Christy, believe, yeah. here. Christy going up a level. A wall right away. That's that instantaneous go up a level card. Howdy hoop. Ooh, face sucker. It's gross. Get on the teeth. Ooh, potion of idiotic okay. bravery. Attempt run away? I, I drink that potion every night before I have to cuddle. So, uh, when it sucks your face, off, off your headgear goes with it. Discard the headgear you're wearing and lose a level. Ooh, okay, okay. But come on, no headgear. Anything else you'd like to play? Uh, I do not at this time, nope. Justin, do you see any bookmarks on the table? I'm I see curious. a couple. It would no be, door. last week, our players did not use those. Oh, no, an elf oh hey, an elf is drawn. A what's an elf do? Elf. What's, what's, what's an elf advantage that I, you can get? Uh, my favorite thing about an elf, uh, it's kind and of that the, is, uh, I will loot the room. It's kind of the go-to play early on uh, because if you solicit, if as a as an elfer, as I like to call, <laughs> not a helper, but an elfer, uh, you can gain a level when you get, when you go in in a monster fight. Hmm. So those can be a little pesky when it comes to later on in the game. Oh yeah, indeed they are. It's a level four undead horse. A level four undead horse. Anyone like to help me for treasure? Yeah, there we go. Which treasure would you like? One treasure. First pick, second pick. First pick, if you don't mind. The White Brothers have entered the battle. Oh, crap. How? Uh-oh. Uh, undead okay. may always enter undead oh, battles. Oh! I don't know who tossed it out. It was tough to see. Uh, Maybe it was even CJ. It will not pursue me. It, it, so you can run away from them, but if you do, you still have to run away from the horse as well, as it is one Wait, can fight. we just run away from the White Brothers? And no, then you, you can't no. run away from It's one continuous fight. It means if you were to lose and you decide to run away, the White Brothers auto escape. How much are you worth? Three. All right, looks like I'm running away from an undead horse. So this is going to be very interesting. Both an undead monster pairing together, running away from the undead horse right now. Rolls a three. But not much, not much concern there with being level one. Uh, do we talk? I don't know if we talked about. It. You could maybe hear for those new Munchkin players, those Munchkinites out there. Uh, you can always couple an undead with any other undead monster from your hand. Yes. So you don't need a wandering monster to to play that card, which means you're you're legit. You are legit. One, two, three. You have defeat. Matthew fighting the throwing out the easy Galactus. Galactus. <laughs> Galactus. Gelatinous is octahedron. Gelatinous octahedron. That's a math problem I don't have a solution for. I would totally dive into a gelatinous octahedron. Like a pool of it. I am cursed. I lose a foot here. I'm wearing which I am not wearing any. Process of Munchkin. Very similar throughout the game. Kick down the door. Look for trouble. Loot the room. Explain to me as we get it later on how what seems so simple with th that process gets a little bit more complicated. Kicking down the door. How does the process later on in the game get more complicated than just kicking down the door and looking for trouble, looting the room? 
I mean, later on in the game, it's 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 gonna. There's so many different strategies involved because as soon as you knock, as soon as you kick down the door, if you have a monster that's you know more than a level five, more than a level eight, um, you're you're gonna need multiple things equipped Man. to defeat him. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to have help, but more importantly, you're going to see all those other players are going to start tossing in things like monster enhancers, which basically is like a monster with steroids. You don't want to fight yes. him, and he's going to be really brutal. Alrighty. Kick open the door. It's a wandering monster card. Ooh, wandering monster. That's going to play off later and when you need to have geek. I am down a bigger advantage six. against other players fighting. I ask you for your help. You cannot refuse and you cannot get any treasure because of my knee pad. Shrieking Geek. Ah, yes, Warhammer. So alluring. We're currently beating it seven to six. Going once. Twice. Three times. It has been defeated. Uh, even though he is not receiving treasures, the treasures are still revealed face up so I can see. We have mutilate the bodies. And we have the broadsword. Oh, okay. Can play this immediately? Yes, immediately, because it's right after combat. Justin, can you tell our audience, why is it that those treasures are faced up when they defeat a monster? Um, just in general or when you're helping someone? Exactly. When you're so help- when you are helping someone, it's it's just a courtesy, I guess, for the other the other people to just see. I just how that's how I view it. The rules may be written different. I see it as a courtesy because the first time that I, that happened when someone took the, the treasures without showing them, I got super mad. So now I see it as a courtesy. The rules may be written different, but in a sense, that is why you were frothing. Through yes, the nose I was at that not point. happy. Yeah, in the rules, you know, if you if you fight with somebody else, you're it's not as cool as when you fight alone. Let's yes. be honest. So you got to show the whole whole board what kind of treasures you get. We see our backpacks getting real big. Matthew's got some a, a stack of stuff oh, in there. It's really not just curse. So this item gives me the biggest bonus, as they are both the same. You get to choose. I'm going to get rid of the big item. No. So this is great Christy playing getting rid of a big item. I'm excited. We actually got a uh, got an interview with We got Christy. interviews with uh, uh, our gamer on yeah. the ground as we like to call him. Uh, Nick Crookshanks did a little interview. So uh, let's hear from her. It'd be nice to get a little bit yeah. of her. Let's back go story. let's go take a listen to what she has to say. Uh, I am actually in two weeks. I'll be 42, and I'm from Huntsville, Alabama, originally Chattanooga, Tennessee. Very cool. And your name for the people? Uh, Christy Oldacre. Very nice. Christy, have you ever been to Las Vegas before? No, never been. Not, nice. So what made you choose Munchkin over the others? What do you think is your favorite part of Munchkin? Uh, I've been playing Munchkin for probably about two years. Um, a friend of ours is uh, a Steve Jackson relic, you know, one of the uh, the folks that with them, and um, I just loved it. I mean, it's just the cards are so specific, and it's you have to be very specific with it, and uh, it's very literal. So it's 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 just a lot of fun. Very cool. What is your strategy for this game of Munchkin? What is what is gonna the move that's gonna put you to Vegas? What's gonna book the ticket? Um, I got a couple combos that I've been playing. I mean, going through uh, qualifying, there's been a couple combos I've been coming up with. So I've uh, you know just got a couple of them back, and I've also got a couple bookmarks. So very cool. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. All right. Thank you. So good to hear what you. It's always interesting to see what people think about the tournament play of Munchkin, how their strategy matches up against them, and what they actually going to plan to do during the game. So it's also good to hear. Always good to hear from the players. She. Uh, it was interesting. She talked Level about having played is, Munchkin uh, in the specific, uh, the specificity of like the rules. Where to I me it seems by. almost ambiguous. Like yeah. it like is a specific that you need to know. Within the ambiguity of Munchkin. Yeah, exactly. As we see Richard right there throw out a level 8 Amazon. What's the difference between a level 8 Amazon when you can declare yourself as a male towards a female? Oh, well, obviously. If you're a, fem- if you're a female, as my good friends on Oh Hello. Oh, say, hello. Uh, uh, she's going to be friendly to you. So she won't attack you, essentially, is what you're saying. Exactly. It's essentially what you said, and I like the way you said it better. No, all good. That is my job to How dare you? Let's see what Matthew does here. Okay. Knock the door. Look. Knock loot it. the room. Look knock for trouble. Knock How down would they the door. say knock the door and oh hello? Knock it down the door. <laughs> <laughs> knock it down the door. Back to the game. <laughs> See his mate hand in his card. What does that mate card do? That's I love mate. very uh, interesting. That's toss out a monster that's exactly the same uh, size, same level, uh, with the uh, 
mine. precise, it is. exact accoutrements, if you will, that the monster that you're currently uh, fighting has. Can I lose? Yeah, all right. So, we'll, when we get the chance, we'll show you the exact wording of the card and get oh, you okay. a look at what mate actually has to do. I love mate because if you play it on a low level, like a level one crab that he has, you can defeat both of the crabs, get two levels, and get both the treasure. But if you, usually mate later on in the game is played uh, yeah. against your opponents. Typically, stereotypically. There it is. There's the mate. So it says another monster appears of the same level and with all the same monster enhancers. If the monsters are defeated, draw a treasure for each and go up level Justin, three. It looks like you and me. It's a picture of you and me. There. Who has the bow tie on or the headband? I think you know who has the bow. Yes. <laughs> and then you take a card randomly from her hand. Um. Hmm, Matt. Matt doing some interesting yeah, stuff, and he is loading. Get He's got tons of, tons of stuff cards. in his backpack. <laughs> uh, let's let's Ooh, hear a little bit look from that Matt. Find a monster or do nothing. Uh, I'll loot the room. Okay. We're going to go to our gamer on the ground, get, get a little backstory on Matt here. Let's see what Matt, Matt has to say. You're Chris, in your next fight only, you may not get any bonuses from items other than armor. The wishing rings before the next fight will lift the curse. I'll be in your everything else until it's gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. Looks like our gamer on the ground is betraying us right now. Doesn't <laughs> want to show that interview you quite yet. Uh, very Munchkin is very pesky with his. Uh, very pesky with his. Yes. You know what? Munchkin's all about backstabbing. So we were we were backstabbed by ourselves and, and by our gamer on the ground. ground. Yes. And you'll see why once this interview goes on and you... And I will loot the room. There you go, a loot, a loot of the room. Good. Can't go the door. Now we're going to go to the interview, Sorry, not hopefully Kate. not backstab us with our pesky gamer on the ground. Let's hear what Matt has to say. I'm 44, I am from uh, Marietta, Georgia. Phenomenal. Have you ever been to Las Vegas before? I have not. So, why did you choose Munchkin over the others, and what's your favorite part of the game of Munchkin? Munchkin is my favorite game. Um, I chose Munchkin because it's my favorite game. It distills the Dungeons & Dragons uh, fantasy role-playing aesthetic into um, a very fun, playable game with fun mechanics that are not overwhelming. Uh, I appreciate it because there's more depth than people give it credit for. I enjoy the elements of hand management, recall, timing that uh, earn you the win. Phenomenal. And do you have a strategy for Munchkin or more so what is going to put you into Vegas going into this? Early to bed, early to rise, cheat like hell and make up lies. I love it. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. That yeah, talks of, about there. the complexities of the game, um, which it, to yeah. me it's about coupling. Game things. management, game management. You mentioned you that. Take things like uh, a lot of people wouldn't know and if you're I a thieving that. halfling, you can sell, you know, grab other items from other people and then sell them for double the price. That's that's a, interesting. His mindset. He he has one of those. I wouldn't want to say veteran, but someone who has played the game before knows exactly what he's looking for when it comes to this game. Knows how he has to play to win. Um, and we see right now he's a level three, which is maybe the highest level right now. And he's got one of my favorite curses in there, one of yours too. Curse that that bagok on your noggin. I don't if like you will. I don't like chicken. You on my love head. chicken. You had a chicken, uh, a chicken on chicken sandwich for Dinfist last night. Okay. And I am. I'm done. I don't like chickens on my heads, man. <laughs> Bad memories. I need feathers up there. It, he also has a magic missile. What does that magic missile do? Magic missile is going to give plus five to either side. You're riding in a rocket of magic. I love that card, by the way. Once we get the I chance. I think for an instantaneous boost, it's one of the best ones in the game. When we get the opportunity, can, can, we'll go take a look at the magic missile. Can you imagine a blue dragon on top yeah, of a first, missile? Yeah. That's so much firepower. This may not work in anything except for armor. And it lasts for one battle. Some mm -hmm. nice combat. It's good to see some of our Twitch people down. Down with Cam is back on. <laughs> uh, really? We had a great question on Twitch. Sword. I want to address it really Level quickly. Cool fiends. No items. Level only. I'm losing eight to two. Ooh. Uh, uh, anyone want to help me? I will help. 
Can you help me? No, you can't help me. Not a conversation. Okay. Use items or other I'm Matthew Mobley. I am 15 and I'm from Alabama. Right there. Good oh, drawing. Ex Lord so, Chelsea X wants to know why do they have the bookmarks on the table? You do declare, you do have to declare in the tournament. It doesn't matter when I've done anything. If you have the additional Stephen Jackson items, which ones you will be playing? I am done and you can go. Sorry. All good. Door flip. Elf. Okay. I could have made you help me. I mean, gosh. We see that magic missile, like we said, that's going to come up later in the game when you're fighting and need some bonuses and combat bonuses. That's for sure. It's kind of cool. We haven't seen a lot of uh, uh, race and class cards out at the same time. This is the first time I feel like we've actually gotten to see a decent amount of variety out there on the board relatively early. There's all There's a billion bunch orcs. of orcs. Well, not billion. I'm no mathematician, Justin. Okay. So now I will go through the class discard pile, and you are now a... Wizard again! Yay! Congratulations, Harry! You're a wizard. Conquest Brood on Twitch says, Matt, 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 beat with a trap, so catch that rat. Nice rap. Ooh, I like that. It's very Shakespearean. Conquest Brood, I think, is Look at, is look at Christie's for... hand, though. Christie's hand. No ma no treasure cards right now. No treasure cards. Just all yeah. knock down the door hands. A lot of great hand. monster enhancers. You see that minus five to a monster? Yes. And a plus five to a monster. Yes. So potentially... She has, with that ability, that kind of changes the landscape of how she may go to attack or help or go against someone. Yeah, she can either mow the grass or grow the grass. You're not wrong there. Mm, dropping a warrior, very interesting. Throws down a thief card, though. What's the difference between maybe a warrior and a thief that, which shows that she's going to have that of a... Uh, that's a smart move in her case. Well, if you're going from... I mean, it depends. She's now a thief. Yeah, she, so. if, if you're going from warrior to thief, it looks like maybe she's going to be... She might see some items on the board that she might want, so she's going to roll for them, because thief's going to give you that ability. Yeah. Or she's ready to start backstabbing some people! Oh, sh yeah, well, okay. Yeah. Well, it was the Diet Coke talking. It's the di so definitely sorry, the Diet Coke. Okay. Ooh. What's the use of a wishing here? ring right there. Ooh. You like, you love yeah, wishing yeah. rings. You wear one to work. Is that a I wear, ring? well, I you never know when you're going to have to get rid of curses. Kick open the door. Richards. Boom. Kicking down the door. Ah, uh, there she is. We saw the cleric. Why is the cleric going to be... How different is that? We saw last week how it's a huge help. I am going to... But we already saw a divine intervention play. Yes. At the beginning so, of the game. So, and this is what makes fantastic. knowing the complexities of Munchkin amazing, because there are so many. That's if you have a card, perhaps a wand of, wand of dousing, wand of dousing, that allows you to go through the discard pile and choose another card, you can take back that divine intervention and play it to automatically level up or hold on to it and, a smart you know, move. And play it to win the game. The only card, Justin, that you could use to win without being a monster. I feel like maybe we could learn more about that in an almost Don't, every uh, foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Also foreshadowing. We see Matthew right here. We're gonna have a little talk with him with our gamer on the ground after his turn right here. I'm gonna use this so I can get the treasures. Correct. Yep. Okay. I'm excited Ooh. to get to know Matthew. I want to know what's going on. Like he seems to be our youngest player here on the board. I know because it's. I didn't actually fight. No, no, you did. He did. Yeah. That, that was combat. Oh, it, it was combat. Okay. No, you made it go away. You did indeed fight a combat. I was technically combat. Okay. When I see that cool. boil and ant hill. And I'm actually going to go up two levels. Oh! oh! He literally tasted a nasty and drinking am... sports drink and boiled some cool. ants at the same time. That's a nice great move. Saturday. Let's take a listen to what his mindset was going in the game with Matthew. Actually, I'm Matthew Mobley. I'm 15 and I'm from Alabama. Very cool. Have you... Probably not, but have you ever been to Vegas? No, I want to go. <laughs> all right, so what made you choose Munchkin over all the other games today? What do you think is your favorite part of Munchkin? Well, because I get to kick my father's butt, and I like playing against him. But uh, the reason I wanted to play that is because we've been playing that for like four or five years now. Very cool. So Christy is actually your stepmother, is that correct? Yes. 
So is this a kind of a grudge match? Is this this isn't only for the ten thousand dollars in the trip to Vegas. This is also for the well, it's not for the ten thousand the trip to Vegas. This is this is bragging rights for the household, right? Yeah, because if I be here, I get to go to Vegas, and she doesn't. <laughs> Very cool. What do you think is your strategy for the game, and what is going to put you in Vegas? Watching what people put down for their cards, especially because it, it's way the the cards fall is how it's going to go. I'm probably going to just sit back, relax, not do anything, and wait, and then pop up and win the game right then. Well, as a former son of a mother, I really hope you win and you can stick it to her, buddy. I hope I do too. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's great to hear. Level Likes it, rat. Munchkin, because one, he gets to kick his dad's butt. One. But Christy is also a stepmom, mm -hmm. and it's a grudge match for him because he wants to win, so she doesn't get to go to Vegas. So there's a little, little a friendly jab right there. I love it. It's they're sparring. It was your and fight. And yep. It is over. So yes, you have lost the line here. And it looks like Matthew is pretty well equipped. Yeah. If we can see on the board, he's got two bookmarks versus. I, I and can't on the app. Who else has and that big one. white screen right there is an app of powerfulness. Which means he will get a boon at some point, and that boon will be boonylicious. My body is boonylicious. You see a halfling coming on the board for Matt. This goes back in my hand. No, we'll go discard it. And he discards the dwarf. Discards the dwarf. So maybe possibly looking to level up a little bit. Richard's kicking down the door. What's, what's in Matt's halfling set? Ooh, like, King Tut. King Toot. Level 16. That's a powerful King, King Tut. He's undead. You quote unquote run away. Yep. You escape automatically. Automatically. Why does he escape automatically? Uh, because King Tut won't fight anyone under a uh, certain level. I believe it is a level 5. And I believe you are probably right. Ooh, an electric radioactive acid potion. Plus 5. Ooh, but Matthew is... And an electric radioactive acid potion for plus 5. There it is. Matthew's helping. Wandering monster, Squidzilla. Oh! <laughs> oh, Dad says get back in your room. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, oh, indescribable horror. Oh, uh, what's the bad stuff on the horror? Dead. 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 You're dead. No. So Matthew's trying to help. One curse, lose a small item. Oh, wow. Oh. Everything is happening oh, so why? fast right now. Why are they so angry with him? Do you think he did not clean the dishes? Right? Yeah. One. Somebody want to help me? Two. I'll help you. Oh! oh. No. For level six, I'll help you. Oh! I'm Scott. Christy's stepping in, wanting to play the game. Four. Does help? Mm-hmm. And, and you see those monster enhancers. She can shrink that one with that, that baby, baby monster. Yeah, you get first pick. All right, this one. All right. Okay, so they're helping. Okay, so they're being helping with each other. Yep. Oh, boy. Ooh, uh, Richard's ready to throw two. something. Up What's he gonna two. do? Oh man. One. Oh two. man. Magic oh. missile. It's oh. by uh, three. three. Oh, oh, there's the magic missile. Oh, there she oh. goes. She counters with the baby monster. One, two. Oh! oh. Water monster Bigfoot is Another coming. one. It's fifteen points. No. Because you're in halfling, right? Yeah. So that's one, two. Come on, come three. on, Matthew. Okay. Christy. Is now over, so. oh. oh my goodness. Zilla is gone because it was I get the marks. treasures though, right? No, no because, because you, you ran away from the room. Had to no run away. rewarded. Cool. Ooh. So, Dang, hey, Matthew's not happy about that. No. One of those treasures. A giant foot came in and smashed his head with a big toe. I'll run away first. I'll run away first. Okay, choose which one okay. first. Okay. Chance to get away though. Okay. You are dead. Oh. So, you are dead. Yeah. CJ not keeping it simple. <laughs> Very blunt. You didn't sugarcoat it. Card from your body. Uh, starting with you, you. Matthew. So we have Curse, Duck of Doom, Crabs, Mate, and One th sorry, Wow, 1, and that's a good hand. That's some good, uh, good divvying up that they got. He was still holding on to that Mate card. Crabs, please. Okay. I'm next. Yes, you're next. I will take the Duck of Doom, please. Ooh, there's that lose two levels with a little bit of damage. All the players saying please after they take it as if it's going to have less than the blow to Matthew a little bit more. You are now done running away as you are dead. Okay, I lose all this too, right? No, no, no. Class and race, stay with you. Class and race, okay. Now it's your turn, run away. Yes. 
Um, you know what's ironic is Christy's Christy. still got a card oh, from that? him. Okay. That one. Yeah. For dying, and now she has to run away herself. Wow. You have to run away. That's rough. Rolls a two. Two, two is two not a five, two, if two, my two, mathematics are correct. Do yes. <laughs> so I get to pick two or no? No, because okay. you're dead. Okay. Oh, that is unfortunate. Uh, Conquest there's some couple. There's shaking, a couple good monsters on the board for Christy too. Mate, warrior, agent plus ten, and a couple good plus cards. Five, there's an illusion, 20, I believe. Oh. oh! Take the illusion. I always take the illusion. I believe that's an illusion. Two deaths. Tricks or something. This is a sad day to watch. <laughs> oh, you jerk! You made my choice hard. Uh, I want the plutonium dragon. There we okay. go. There it is. Thank you. This goes away. Justin, he's going to take the highest monster in the game. Richard is. Yes. You think we'll see that card again? If I was a betting man, I'd probably say yes. Uh, but fortunately, you stay away from casinos. Oh, yeah. You're not back to being alive. Yay. Welcome to the world of the living. So that was quick. Except for Caesar's Palace. So we see CJ. He's back alive. What is CJ doing now? He's going to give him the, uh, I believe he's going to give him four new cards of each, but not yet. Gotta wait till it comes around to his turn. I think CJ was just uh, it's as if getting Christy. Two deaths in one turn. Yeah. One combat. Very something we don't see as much. And there's the new hand. Sometimes dying can be. And it's a good not a thing. bad hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes there's that one to dousing. And there's a hireling. One of my favorite cards in the game. Hireling. Put it in front. You get that yes, plus one. You can run away from any monster. Uh, and you can carry an item that you would otherwise not be able to. <laughs> the mighty cleric. See a stone golem. Cleric's great card. And then you get kicked down the door whenever you're ready. Dinkle Swerve on Twitch says his favorite quote of the month is, You cannot run away because you are now dead. Wizard. Maybe wizard is your choice or put it in your hand. Hmm. There's that hat. Look for trouble or do nothing. Is she a wizard? She just picked up a wizard card. Right, so that thing is going to so. give her... A nice little bonus. And there's the one of Dowson we talk. Could come into play huge if someone decides to be cleric and use that uh, divine intervention. I wish with one of Dowsing they made you carry an actual stick and sift through the cards with a stick. That's a munchkin thing. That would take too long. Yeah, but it'd be But a good strategy, watch. a good strategy to take that time limit up to its peak. <laughs> so, so, you're also high Purposeful level. wand of Dowsing. I'm only level five. I'm only three levels higher than everyone else. Not two levels higher. I am down to the ready. Ping on the door. Level oh. 4, snails on speed. Snails, snails on speed. Yeah. 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 Okay, I am beating it by going once. Richard gonna do anything here? What do you think? Not right now, uh, right. Oh. Going three times, dead. Dead. Wow, CJ with a fast count on that one. That was no Razor Ramon pin down. CJ's very prompt with his dead calls today. He's very excited about them. He's a quick counter. I see a kill the hireling, which I, I think she, Christy's hireling is out on the board. He's gonna do it. Wow, that's gonna. I'm gonna stop being a cleric. Okay. Oh. So I can put my knee pads back on. I'm gonna kick open the door. Richard yeah. kicking down the door. Platicor. A platicor. We'll see his move right here, I'm and then get a little insight I'm with our gamer on the ground what he wants to. What his mindset okay. is. He's helping you. Was was um, going into this game of Munchkin. Be interesting to hear what he has to say. One, two, three. They have successfully killed the Lightroom with their. And I get a level for that because I'm an elf, right? Oh, Richard. you're an elf. Oh, yeah. and Richard regretting that now. Matt going up to level yeah, five. Yeah, start paying. Oh, face oh, sorry, yeah, face no, up. Yeah. Yes, there we uh, go. You still doing both? It's just that boom. rules. Yeah, just rules. That's why I'm here. Go up if I do forget about how die rolling works. <laughs> All right, let's take a listen to what Richard has to say with our gamer on the ground. Okay. Uh, my name is Richard Lamond. I'm 32 years old and I live in Kennesaw, Georgia. Very cool. So, have you ever been to Las Vegas before? No, nah, man, I've never been to Vegas. Very cool. So, why'd you choose Munchkin over the others and what's your favorite part of the game? Uh, well, Munchkin is a game, it, uh, of the games I've had uh, the most experience with. I've been playing Munchkin for about seven years. It's just a great game. I love screwing over my friends and, uh, you know, winning. <laughs> Very cool. So, 
what is your strategy for this game? What do you think? What's going to put you in Vegas? What's like your power move? You got locked away. Um, I, I mean, I like to play. I, I slow play. I uh, I keep the powerful cards. I hold on to them. I don't use them until it's absolutely necessary to, to stop someone from winning or to win myself the game. Very cool. So let's say you you win the final table, you make it to Vegas, and you win in Vegas. What would you do with that ten thousand cash? Oh man, I don't even know. Probably fix up my house. <laughs> I got a, I got a roof leak. I need to take care of. <laughs> Well, hopefully, let's. on behalf of us, I'm praying for you at this point. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Very cool. And I'm going to put um, Half-Breed on under here. Seven years of Munchkin that. playing. Uh-huh. Seven years of Munchkin playing. That's that's a long time. That's almost your age. Yeah. Do I still have to kick down the door? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kick down the door. I'm sorry. Bam. Pick Pikachu. 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 Let me see. Let me add all my... One, Here we see the flaming two, armor. Two. It's hot. It's metal. It's hot no. and it's metal. One combat. Wait. Um, what do you <laughs> you if you fight with no bonuses, you do get an extra level. That little pukachu. <laughs> That's a pukey. No, I see some really mithril good. armor it doesn't down matter. there too. Man, the <laughs> George is a fun level place. seven though. Dead on arrival, but level seven on arrival. I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> What? Matthew's, the, Matthew's back though. He, so, Matthew's oh, back. Not letting that. Matthew's back. Dying. It's 600, yep. He's back. How did he, and he's. How did he get to goes up another. So quick. Your turn. I'm surprised no bookmarks have been used. You. Just wait. Your bookmarks. I wonder if some point Christy's gonna sit there and go, you know what? Maybe I help my stepson get a trip to Vegas. No. And then no. Matthew will be like, I'm going to Vegas and you're not. I wonder if they're. I wonder if Matt's sitting there thinking, I don't. I don't care about the rest of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Plus two. Plus two. Thank you. I am tiny writing. I'm trying. I almost have every single card in this game memorized. All right. All 135. Level four leprechaun. So at the moment, do you need help? I am currently beating him. Oh it looks like Christy is Christy and Richard are down pretty low on the board. The leprechaun falls apart. Ah, leprechaun is no more. Leprechaun falls apart. He I lost, lost my his, his legs. I lost my pot of gold. My beard gets shaved off. Good pickup by Christy up to. Oh, short wide armor. Usable by dwarf only. She's not a dwarf. No. But there's that wishing She's ring. Christy. There's <laughs> there's a wishing ring right there. She's still a cleric, though, so holding up that stone tablet. Yes, you are level two. So any card charity you would go to me anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, go and discard it. That is another point we did not talk about, is the charity. I'm done. You have to have five cards at the end of your <laughs> turn in your hand. If you have more than five, what is the process of getting rid of those cards? You have to discard them to the uh, lowest level person. Uh, if there's a tie, you can... Level 10 floating nose. There's the floating There's nose. There's a floating There's a nose. Potion of halitosis to so destroy that fighting. thing. Do you want to fight him or do you want Automatically. to Automatically. Let's see. We'll see if it's out there. It's counting to see. By how much? Two. Beating it by two. So are you, I just want to make sure you're, you're, you're coming in to fight him, correct? I'm coming in to fight him. Okay, he so is in combat, making that clear so by Matt. Items to give it to okay. Oh, what's okay. the best stuff? Lose three levels. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. What are you, how much are you beating it by? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Two. Down by three. Okay. Hmm. Matthew thinking of doing something, be, knowing that yeah, Matt is close away. to catching Friendship him. Friendship potion. Now gives you uh, four treasures because of the enrage. Wow. Friendship potion doesn't do that. It's loot the room. That's not right. Oh, thank you for that. No, 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 no. I'll see you Oh, hello oh. to the rules. Yeah, Maybe we've got a future judge in our presence. Maybe we do. Matthew, on top of his knowledge right he there. He wants to go to Vegas. He does. We kick down the, wannabe the wannabe vampires. Oh. Kick down the door, you get some vamps. You don't have a choice. You are help helping me. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, what is so One, unique about the vampires? Two, well, he's not undead, three. even though he wants to be. Um, oh, sorry, go ahead. I go for the nine. Uh, you're a damn elf. 
to... I'll let you think about it and get back to no, it. No, yeah, sorry, I'm distracted by the Twitch. Uh, but for a wannabe vampire, basically it blocks the door and tells you about his character if you... That's the bad stuff. But a cleric, if you're a cleric, all you have to do is say, booga, 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 and take his treasure. I'm short. No, it's, it's gonna go on no, we've heard some good booga, booga, booga. We've heard so some far. great booga, booga. Where is a race? It's going to be... Matthew's at level 9 now. He is one away from victory right, here. Even and he's a dwarf now. He gets a new card. And, and he gets a new... Close. Wow. Gets a new race and now he gets to have the, six cards in his hand. The excitement building up for Matthew as he's thinking about what it would be like to be probably... You know what his lanyard point, says? One of our youngest... It's your turn. His lanyard so, says, uh, I am better than you at Munchkin. <laughs> Not confirmed. You know but what his hair says? Sweep me out of my eyes as I watch my victory. <laughs> Fighting level two. Level two flying frogs. Wow, this could be the game right here. Throws down a level two from while he's it? looking for trouble. Oh, this for the win. No, oh. stop. Flying oh. frogs level two. <laughs> Matt says no, stop. Uh, you should know better than to pick up a duck in a dungeon. Oh, no! Level two down. Uh, quack quack, Mr. Ducksworth. Quack quack is for two. sure. Down to level seven now. Two. Three, frogs have been defeated, you go up a level. But he goes back up a level uh, to be a level eight, which is a very good take, give and take right there. I'm I think a, a good move by Richard. Am I? No, I'm not. No, Saves the game for the meantime. Yeah. Lives to see another Munchkin door fight. Justin, do you, can I ask you a personal question? Yes. Do you knock down the door or do you do other stuff to the door? I kick down the door. Gosh, I knew that about you. Ooh, yeah, sorry. The plus four Swiss the army. Swiss. That is 1,400 gold pieces. There we go. That's another level. I changed my stuff. Um, yeah. I'm done. I have five. Ready. I have okay. three four cards, actually. All righty. So he's back up to level nine, even though that duck in a dungeon card yeah. dropped him down to seven. Duck in a dungeon card. Again, we haven't seen any oh. bookmarks oh. used yet. For free. <laughs> you you sell, free. If you speak it, it shall come I'll true. For free, I don't get a level out of it. <laughs> I help you, I don't get a There's level. There's the wand of dousing back in a hand. Yeah, I don't care, you can take his help too. Okay, hold on, I got to figure out numbers there. So I'm Christy's, Christy's got some good cards. Three. I'm at three 16. Three by 15. Oh, I can't help you anyway. I'm at Never 16. mind, don't take my help. I take it back. <laughs> Matthew playing the innocent stepson trial, the stepson <laughs> rolled ahead. Get another treasure card You're gonna have to help me. from Christy. Uh, is Matthew uh, back at level 9? Because it, it is a bulldog. The bulldogs are very, very I'm pesky. Not they're, they're pesky. They've got a nose yeah. ring. Oh, yeah. And they say, yeah. I mean business. So we're fighting together. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Come on over just to make sure. Okay. What's the sword give you? Uh, plus two. Two, two five, seven, sixteen. Plus you one by one, correct. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Narrowly Ooh. escapes the fiery emotions. Ooh, there's the a sandals of protection. I see a, a long. Looks like a, um, a go up a level with that inconvenient math error. An 11 foot pull, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yes, was, that is I a tall pull. Convenient addition error. Okay, My fault. The staff of napalm is powerful for a wizard if they can. If you are a wizard. If you're it's probably the most powerful bonuses in the game. It's a plus five. Plus five? That's a lot of fire you can spit at somebody. It's a lot of napalm. What shall I do? She takes the... There we go. Taking that, uh... That 11-foot pole. I will be. I will say, Matt. I've been very impressed with Matthew's playing today. The only time I've ever seen an eleven-foot no, pole was in a firehouse. And sure. I am a Back to the game. Point, so I will sell that. It doubles it. Uh oh. To Sixteen. Correct. And another four is two levels. Oh. oh. Wow. And Christy, just like that, entering the realm of. That's what we call a Munchkin swing. <laughs> Yes. A Minchkin swing. Curse income tax. Oh, oh yes. This choice. is a fun one. Every other player must now discard an item or items totaling at least as much value as the item you discarded. Ooh, pesky oh. old income tax. This is a curse that could use you could use to your advantage, really. How so? Tell if me if you have something. Invite me into your that realm of knowledge. I'll do the 
We'll wait. We'll see what Matt wants to do first. Then I'll. I have. I have. See? All right, you got it covered. I'll score the slimy armor. How much is it? 200, so his 200. first. So he goes with the slimy armor. armor. Every player has to discard something up to 200 or something that is 200. Mm -hmm. um, or more. Is it's not bad. bad. But like I was saying, if you, they could use that to your advantage. If you have a card you know you can replace that costs a lot of money that someone else has, and you know that that's going to take away from their bonuses in a big way, that income curse or that income tax... Use it. To, you can use that to your advantage, and that could change the way someone else plays now because now they can't really fight that level 14 monster or that level 16 because now they're back down to a level 12 or a level 11 in combat bonus. So, but right there we saw only the level 200. Not that big of a deal, but it's a card that could become in play. That's a very powerful card at some point. You love your. I just. I had no idea how passionate you were about income tax. Uh, you're well, you know, I I, I did I go to I, loves I I did go to school not to study that. So, <laughs> and let's let's talk about what we went to school not to study clear. for. Definitely income tax. <laughs> I'm gonna discard the super munchkin. Richard, going cleric. <laughs> door to this <laughs> Can you go cleric? Uh, let's start a T-shirt. Going cleric. I wear that along with my punch the culta shirt. I love it. Richard got a lot on the board right now, too. He's got those pretty balloons. Oh, look at the red, the yellow, the red, the green, the blue. Are you fighting? Okay. Doesn't Wanda Dowsing sound like a lady? I'm going to go looking for trouble against the level 20 plutonium dragon. Oh! Wow. I'm in. This is big. This is big if he can do this. I'll help you. All right. Three treasures. You get back Oh, Matthew, cutthroat. Matthew laying down the law, and Richard's saying, I'll take it. Okay. So, two. Went being by how much? Oh. Eight. Eight. Oh. No, oh. six. Sorry, six. Being by six. Oh. One. Oh. Two. Three. Oh. Finito. There it is. CJ with the tap. Matthew laying down the law. I'm going to help you, but I want the three treasures. <laughs> uh, but this is. But Richard's picking, I believe. And Richard There's a very big rock. Motion. Huge I'm rock. Not, that it, that's a huge that. rock. Have it. And Richard's going up two levels. So Six. Richard into the fray. They are all slowly pushing towards that 10 spot. And we see, though, Matthew and Richard both Seven have the app. Title. I'm not sure if they've played their boons yet. No, no one has. And you know what? The, the way the app works, and I, this is what I love sure about so. Steve Jackson games, all the craziness. Oh, okay. uh, the higher you go in the game, the better that boon is going to be. Count, right? How, much? How much? Let's see. It's a 14. I'm at 20. No, Dinkle Swerve on Twitch says, didn't go to school for any number bigger than 100. That Quality. is the truth, Dinkle Swerve. That is the we truth. We know that about you, Dinkle, and we love that about you. Push me up. Ooh. It is a, real quick, it's a potion of confusion, which is a plus three, and a freezing explosion potion, another plus three for a total plus six. Up by how much? Fighting level 14 insurance salesman right now. Can't use your your level in it. Up Only your bonuses. That's three and three. Yep. It's dangerous. You're up by three. Up by three. This could be the game right here if no one's going to defend him. Two. Ancient plus ten to monster. Oh, ah! Yes! Power right in the kissa. One. Ancient. Two. Anybody want to help me? Three. No. Oh. <laughs> I love this. Worth a try. Right. Worth a try. Soliciting no, help no. after a monster's well, been even been inflated. They never see Matthew going down again. You can sell he's mad right now, but yeah. he does want to show it. You can tell he's mad right now. You buy insurance, lose a thousand gold pieces worth of items. If you don't lose that much, lose all you have. Ouch. So he doesn't lose levels, though. Which is a good for him, because he's right there. Yeah, I was going to say, if he lost levels right now, that would be... doesn't have to get rid of items up to a thousand gold pieces, though. Which, which is kind of a big blow. You hear funny Curse, things out there. I lose the headgear I'm wearing. I am not wearing any headgear. Well, that's <laughs> Oh, and my sandals protection, actually. Boot the room. Take care. Games for Life Double Zero says, let's go, Matthew. I am going to... Games for Life Double Zero been a good follower so far of the tournament. I'm going to play uh, fighting Stone Gollum. 14 Gollum. Stone Gollum. Oh, Will he chase you, Justin? What? Will and as I am a halfling, you just, before like, I realized I put it down, uh, I have to fight it. I'll help you. So, um... Mm. I'll help. Depends. I'll help. I'm seven. <laughs> I'm seven. I'm at 20. I'll help you. This is what I love about the stone golem. 
is says, oh, basically uh, you can walk treasures. past and, and let him keep his treasure, pick. except unless you're half the third pick which of point you gotta fight. That is my offer. <laughs> third pick of treasure. The third pick I'll help you for no treasure. That's it. That's it. Just the third He's treasure. Elf, He's an elf. He gains oh, levels. Oh, I'm a oh, silly half breed. For two, but you get first class for you. I'm a dwarf. This is where you feel powerful as a munching player. Everyone wanting to help you, and you get the. You get to choose. Who has the higher? Me? I'm 20. I'm worth, yeah, he's worth a little bit more. I'm worth 13. All right, I'd rather take the higher stats. All right. So 20 plus me. All right. One, two, three. Okay, defeated. It was for two treasures. Yes, it was. <laughs> and then because it was discussed in order, you choose which two treasures he gets. Okay. Matthew, a little mouthing Hi. to his mother what's to choose. Maybe she's he's looking to get a little help. You think so? And there we see Christy going up. But Christy? With that doppelganger, if she takes... We'll see what she does. This card? It's horny and it's a helmet, baby. And this card. You may have those too. Matthew, not really happy um, with, with that. Yes, I am. <laughs> so clearly... A halfling. I am selling... Uh-oh! This... Level nine. This is huge. And she's got that. It, so it gives me up a level. She's got that doppelganger. And I'm using my wand of dousing. Oh! oh you can go through and pick up a small game. monster. This is big. Wait. <sighs> she's a cleric. Oh, oh my ah. goodness. Ah. Good job. Well job. Twice in two or three weeks in a row. I love it. She picked up a tablet, slammed it on everybody's head, and said, I am holier than thou, and I shall be in Vegas. That literally came down to, I think it was about to be time, and it was going to be like, no one fight battles. Oh my goodness. Marks, it was going to literally like, no one fight battles, no one fight battles. Oh my that goodness. Was, I can't believe like well played. Back to well back. Done. That was Good unbelievably game. well played. I was waiting on it. I waited too long. I, I was hoping that the wand of dowsing was game, still in the pile. The There's the wand of dowsing that she used. Go there through the is. discards that and find any of the one card you want. That's what she used to get to the divine intervention. Mm -hmm. And divine intervention as the cleric. Amazing. This is an unbelievable put, turn of events. We were all saying Matthew was going to win. Matthew was. It on. looked like he was going to win. He was on level nine. It seemed multiple times. Yes. Each time being brought back down. Uh, either via the uh, Duck of Doom, yes. um, or you know, just lose straight up monster enhancers so yeah. we can defeat. We saw that that three three monster fight. That was incredible. Yeah, it I, was just unbelievable how that turned out right there. So we saw we didn't really know what was going. She was selling that the, the horny helmet to get to yeah. level nine. We thought, you know what? Maybe that's another turn. No, plays the wand of dowsing. As soon as we played, she played the wand of dowsing. We knew she was a cleric, and boom, we knew exactly what she was going for. And she found herself all the way on a divine intervention trip to Vegas. Yeah, that is a, that's a holy airplane ride all the way out there. I, I could not believe that because, and that's one of those situations where you're looking across mm -hmm. the board and you think, oh, level seven, level yes. eight, you still got you're some unsure, time to play there's, around, yeah. but then smack That's the quickness of Munchkin. Uh, that's what we call a Munchkin swing, as I said earlier. A Munchkin swing, baby. And it, again, that's one of the complexities we yeah. talked about a little bit earlier. She's played the game for so yes. long. All she these players have played the game. That rule. Yeah, I well, mean, but I'm, I'm going to say that's too, that's how so you know that. Eh, the game, I guess, that's it. how you know she knew exactly how to play that hand. Stayed calm when people were asking her. Oh, well, let me help you. Let me help you. And it turned out to her advantage at the end. For the balmy 90 degrees that it is externally, like yeah. you said, she was staying a cool Munchkin 42 the yes. whole time. Yes, that is the Munchkin thermometer uh, temperature. A congratulations to her. We're going to toss it a game changer. We will be back with more Unrivaled. I'm really impressed by Luchador. Wow. You could put on a oh, tight yeah. mask. Uh, no, that says oh, Apple. That's different. That's different. Bounce in a dice. 1980s puppet. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, my gosh. You really came at us there. Uh, welcome back to more Tabletop Talk. I'm Tim. I'm Justin. And this is Game, Game Changers. Changers. Justin, there have been cards this past week that have, like, gone up my Intervention. Can I level up? Yes, with our Game Changer card of the week. Divine Intervention. Oh. Says you must play this card as soon as you get it. All clerics immediately go up a level. This can be the winning level. If this card makes you win, you are entitled to mock the other players mercilessly, and we saw this happen this last week. Okay, Justin, in Munchkin, there's no other card that can make oh, you win you the game. You have to be You monsters. have to fight a monster, right? Except for this one? 
and we saw it happen mm -hmm. twice. Do, if you want to mock, do you want to mock someone at this point when you win? <laughs> yes, I do. That's a great mockery. Such a powerful card. Such a game changer. Uh, you know what else I want to do right now? What? What up? What is? Is that like a pimp walk? Oh, it's my walk, baby. And I'm a little pimping imp. <laughs> my spotlight card from Epic Spell Wars. Pimp Dimps from Epic Spell Wars. You target your weakest foe, uh, roll power, all foes heal one hit point, but for three damage you keep the card, and for plus ten, five damage, and each other foe heals one point. Uh, so yes, your opponents can go up wow. a hit point if you don't roll powerfully, but this to me is amazing because it's one of the few cards in the game that you can keep out, and there's only way, one way to deal damage, and it's to have a creature out there, and there's only one way to defend yourself, it's to have a creature out there, which is why this card is really important because you can keep a small, you can keep it out there with a smaller roll, one of the few cards in the game that lets you do that. So here's what I got to say to you, Justin. Yo, yo, you, you see my dice, bro? Okay. You we see my it. dice? Here, let me see that card. Let me see that card. Banished. You know why? Because no. my spotlight card, Arbiter of the Precipice, allows me to do that and draw two cards. So Arbiter of the Precipice is four runes to buy. It is a void hero. You draw two cards and banish a card in your hand. Now this is bigger on later in the game because when you want a thinner deck, you want to get to those more powerful cards, and this does it. You can get rid of those apprentices and militias that have no effect at the end of the game, and you go, boom, this is my void. Get out of here. Right, getting your power cards. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. Oh, whoa, yeah. Justin, whoa, look, I'm on I'm on the edge of the void. Whoa, what's down there? Okay. Is it more okay. tabletop? <laughs> oh, with Unrivaled 2017, the largest tabletop tournament. Uh, we're Again, thanks for watching our Game Changers segment. We're here at the Laguna Hills Game Master, where if you compete in our competition, you can win a lot of store credit to buy some amazing amazing games. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Tim. I'm Justin. Challenge everyone. Could we play apples to apples? We could. I would destroy you. Wow. Again, <laughs> speaking of game changers, we saw the game changer of the one in Dallas. You know, unbelievable. That was exhilarating, J-Man. I, I, just a great start to our tournament here in Duluth. Uh, what do you say? Maybe we should get some words yeah, of wisdom let's... from our winner. Christy, let's hear from her. Hey everyone, this is Christian with Unrivaled and Umba TV here with Christy playing out of Haven Games. Christy, tell me about that victory. How does it feel? Oh, I tell you, I, I even had a death in that in that uh, game, and it's uh, we came back from nothing. I literally was level one with a death, and came back and I was able to able to take it out. As I say, oh, I'm just still trying to process it. <laughs> so try to take it in. Now resurrection will do it, you know. So, your son was playing there. Is there going to be some, some, some bragging rights now? How, how's the ride home going to be in the car? Uh, um, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll, it'll be good. I was going to say it. Man, you know. it's kind of like the, the end of the conversation. But yeah, well, I want a munchkin when it counted, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So maybe I can get some extra tours out of it. But I mean, I don't know if I can or not. So I'll try. <laughs> One last question for you. Okay, we have something going on back on this stream talking about Brenner. I think it's important. How do you feel about Brenner? You know, breakfast and dinner, or breakfast for dinner. Good or great? Oh, I love breakfast for dinner. I was going to say, waffles have that, you know, love Waffle House. Go over there and get, you know, get breakfast for dinner all the time. Love it. Love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for the interview. Heading back to Justin and Tim. Brenner staying strong, man. Brenner staying strong. Not Denfist. Brenner. But that was good, Christy. She I'm talks angry. about okay. I'm Christy angry. talks about how the like, ride home is going to be a little edgy. I know Matthew's going to be a little mad, but at the end of the day, we just saw some great munchkin. Anybody who's anybody knows that it's Dinfest, uh, and it's Dinfest. Okay. Final final point it's, on that. It's Brenner, but we'll we'll carry on that competition throughout. Speaking of competing, like you said, Christy, that ride home is going to be completely awkward mm -hmm. and amazing. But that flight to Vegas is going to be gonna fantastic, be great. where yeah. she's going to be competing for ten grand against a bunch of other players that have won. And all what has been a right. great as tournament, unrivaled tournament already. We're gonna take a look at a video, uh, a recap of yeah. what's gone on and everything. Let's check all out the what's excitement. In the tournament so far. Hello, everybody, and it's the moment that you have been waiting for. It is finally here. It's day one of the regional finals for the Unrivaled Tournament Series. We are here in Ontario, California at Gameworks at Ontario Mills Mall. And man, the excitement is buzzing. Tim, are you finally it's, getting ready to see Justin, this? I'm stoked. I am, I am jazzed. I am, call me Miles Davis. This is gonna be a blast. Ooh. 
The crab cakes Baby. smell good. There's no fog <laughs> in the bay, but there's lots of tabletop to be had. Welcome back to the Unrivaled mm -hmm. Tournament. I know why you didn't go. Because you don't think you can catch a fish. Yeah. That's it. I can catch a fish, no, you man. Can't. You don't I don't think so. Anyone can catch a fish. No. Justin, I can catch a fish. Okay. <gasps> Welcome to Seattle. Whoa, Justin, I don't know whether I've got altitude sickness or whether it was just a good cup of Dazbog coffee, but here we are, Denver Unrivaled Tournament, the largest tabletop tournament of 2017. Are you ready for this week? Oh yeah, my, my excitement's like a mile high. Rough as always, yeah. Justin. I am like the back of an electrical outlet right now. I'm so wired okay. uh, because it is unrival time is. here in Deloge, Missouri. Yeah. I'm Quinn with Umba TV, and here is your quick eSports Now update. Season 1 of the Overwatch Contenders kicks off this Saturday. The stage is set for 8 North American teams and 8 European teams battling it out. The prize pot is $100,000. The North American teams participating are as follows. Team Envy, Rogue, Immortals, Envision, FNR GFE, Kungarna, FaZe Clan, and Detroit Renegades. The Europe teams are E United, 123, Cloud9, Bazooka Puppies, Gamers Origin, Singularity, Team Giganti, and Misfits. The regular season will be played over the next six weeks, and each team will play a four-map set against every other team in their region. The top four teams in North America and Europe will book themselves a trip to the playoff stage. On Saturdays and Sundays during the regular season, broadcasts will begin with European matches and finish with North American matches. Here at Umbo, we will update you every week on the Overwatch Contenders League leading up to the finals. One month from now, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite hits store shelves. This week, they released a new trailer. This revealed four more characters, Jetta and Firebrand for Capcom, and Dormammu and Ghost Rider on the Marvel side. This brings the total hero number to 30. There seems to be some similarities to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like in the films, Iron Man and Captain America fight over a major decision and end up splitting the teams in half. In the game, the decision is whether or not to release Thanos to retrieve the Infinity Stones before the major villain in the game, Ultron Sigma, the combination of the villains Ultron and Sigma. The trailer also featured a giant Venom symbiote villain that the heroes are pitted against. Venom is not confirmed to be in the game yet, but the sight of the symbiote in the trailer could allow Venom for future DLC in the game. Some of the features in the game that were not in past Marvel vs. Capcom games are the Infinity Stones. A central point in the Marvel storyline, they will play a major role during combat in the game. Before the fight, you can choose one of six to affect the outcome of battle. The game hits shelves on September 19th. If you want to get some Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite action now, you can try the story demo for PS4 and Xbox One today. The Nielsen Entertainment Empire is now entering into the esports community. Presenting Nielsen Esports, a new unit of Nielsen Entertainment that is set to take the esports world by storm. The demand for valuing esports for sponsorships is huge right now, and Nielsen plans to fill that void. They are not doing it alone. They have an advisory board with members from ESL, ESPN, Facebook, FIFA, Major League Gaming and Activision Blizzard, NBA 2K League, The Next Level, Sony PlayStation, Turner, Twitch, Unilever, and YouTube. With Nielsen's entrance into the esports competition scene, more companies will be more interested in backing these tournaments with sponsorships. More sponsorships means more money. More money means more professional tournaments, and more professional tournaments means more esports. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all of your latest esports news.